All right, we're going to put the material on the wall now. Um, we have this pattern on there, but we need to update it. Um, and then we need to put the material on. So we need to update this because the pattern is actually going to stop at nine foot two. It breaks at the floors, and those floors are at nine foot two. So we're going to change this eight by eight pattern to a nine foot two by 27 foot six pattern um, that's proportional to the image that we're going to use. So I'm going to pick this wall and I'm going to go to edit type, go to edit structure, and I'm going to edit the material. And I'm going to change that surface pattern. I'm just going to rename it. Go to edit and rename to rectangular. And um, then I'm going to change the line spacing to 9 foot 2 and 27 foot 6. Click OK. Click OK and OK my way out of there. All right, so now we've got a, a pattern on there that looks like that. And the material we're going to use is this material. It was this JPEG right here that I downloaded. So you can see um, it has four more holes in it. I desaturated it a little bit. Um, but you can see it has these patches of dark and light, which is pretty typical. And if you were to tile that, it would be pretty clear where those were, and you would see that sort of pattern. So what I tend to do is I will take the background and make a copy of it, which I've done here, and I've called it flip. So I'm going to turn the background off real quick, and I'll turn the flip on. And it has opacity on it right now, so I'm going to change that opacity up to flat to full. And you'll see that all I did was I just rubber stamped out the um, lines. But what I also did is I went to edit, and I went to transform. And it's important to do this under the transform and I flipped it horizontal and vertical. So I would get a variation in the, um, in the discoloration and the light and dark. And so if I turn the background on and I turn the flip to a little under 50%, you'll see that it is still has some dark and light areas, but without the flip on, it's much more pronounced. And so you can kind of go in and blend these things together and that works fairly well. Last thing I did was I made a copy of the background and I just completely desaturated it and jacked the contrast up to make a bump map, which is a false relief. So anything that's black will appear to recede and anything that is white will appear to be forward. Save this guy out as a JPEG, turned it off, and saved this guy out as a JPEG. So that's what we're going to use for this material. All right, so I'm going to pick this wall and go apply the material to this wall. I'm going to go to edit type. Edit structure, edit the material, and it's going to open up the material dialog box. And I want to go to the appearance tab, which is what controls what the rendering looks like or the material texture. And the first thing I want to do is I want to duplicate the asset. You see this number three right here? It means it's sharing this appearance asset with three other materials. And I don't want to overwrite it because it will overwrite those other three materials. So I'm going to duplicate the asset. And then I'm just going to rename it from white frame to um, generic concrete. Okay. Um, you can add concrete in here for search reasons if you want to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it, close that information up. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add the bump map first. So down here is that false relief map. And this is, you can call this a channel depending on whatever um, program or that you're used to using. And I'm just going to check next to bump and it's going to open up my um, files and I'm going to go to my materials and my concrete and what I want to use is the concrete formwork bump and that's what I had saved that other that map out as and I'm going to click open and it's going to place that bump map on there and the next thing I'm going to do is come up to this generic area and right here is where you select what would typically be called the diffuse map so that's the main color, the reflected color of the item. So I'm going to click on this no image selected, and I'm going to go to the concrete formwork JPEG, which is what I saved, and click open. It's going to open that, and I want to come into this image and see how big it's tiling it. So I'm going to left click on the image here, and it's going to open up the texture editor, and it's one foot by one foot, which I do not want at all. 
I'm going to first thing I'm going to do before I change that size is I'm going to click on link texture transforms and this is going to connect the size of this to that bump map and keep them linked together so if I change the size of this it will also change the size of the bump map. So if I scroll down you have a scale area here. I'm just going to unlock the width and the height and I'm going to change the um, width of it to that 27 foot 6 inches and you have to put the inches in this one I don't know why or it breaks on you and then this is going to be 9 foot 2 inches and so that's how big that thing's going to be so that's going to work just fine for us so I'm just going to come down here and click done and then I'm going to go and check the bump map and make sure that it updated the size as well so if I left click on this and I scroll down you'll see that it is updating here as well. So I'm going to click Done. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK. All right. So now I'm going to go to my realistic. And you will see that it's putting that guy out there. Now, you can still see the discoloration a little bit. It's not too bad with the tiling, um, but we can adjust that as well. So I'm going to come in. And I'm going to go to my materials now. I'm not going to go through the wall. I'm just going to open up my materials. And it's going to have that last material highlighted right there. And I wish I had a little bit more real estate. But um, if I go to appearance here, I'm going to take this image and I'm going to fade it. So I'm just going to fade that image. And then I'm going to hit apply. And you're going to see how it fades it. It's doing now a combination of 71% the image and 70 and 30, 29% the color. So if I change that color to something a little darker and clicked OK and hit apply, it would make it a little darker. And now that's faded out a little more. So I also will oftentimes come in here and fade that out. So you can do that as well. All right, I'm going to click OK here. And then I'll zoom out, I'll spin around, and let's pick this guy and we'll change it to the wall that we just made which is that concrete formwork right and we'll see that that guy will update as well and it should be on the inside um, the ends we're gonna have to paint the ends because even when it goes across there it does kind of funny stuff it's doing it now but it's just so bleached out from the sun that you can't see it so what we would need to do is go in and sort of paint those edges a different color. So um, we'll talk about that in the, uh, in the sort of tips and tricks area. So I'm going to go, um, now we've finished the walls, and I'm going to go ahead and do the floors in the next one. All right.